Hi, I'm Joseph Vass with Dawn Equipment Company and today we're going to make a quick video talking about some of the basic features of the Model 7000 Pluribus strip till unit. Starting at the toolbar, the unit's made to bolt onto 7x7 seven seven toolbars. It's going to require a heavy duty frame because it's a heavy row unit. It's about a 500 pound row unit. Then you have a parallel linkage. Uh, it has about 16 inches of motion so it has a lot of upward and downward motion and it has uh, polymer bushings in the parallel linkage and uh, which are re-greasable. However, they don't require very much grease at all, uh, just seasonally. At the back of the parallel linkage, you'll see the, the Hallmark Dawn feature of the rear-mounted uh, air spring. The uh, airbag generates up to 500 pounds of down pressure, um, albeit only very rarely will that much down pressure be required. Typically, you'll be running uh, either no down pressure in the spring or just a very small amount, maybe just uh, 20 or 30 PSI out of a 100 PSI maximum on that. In the front of the unit, uh, we have the leading coulter. There's three coulter blades on the unit. The front blade is a 16 inch blade. It runs straight up and down. The rear two blades run at angles. The middle blade is an 18 inch blade. It runs at a slight compound angle and the rear blade is a 16 inch blade and it also runs at a compound angle. The row cleaner wheels shown here are the brand new one piece 15 inch swept tooth Dawn trash wheel. Where you'll notice there is no hub. Uh, the hub is forged into the wheel and so you have a perfectly smooth front and notice on the back you have a perfectly smooth back of the wheel also which will really minimize any propensity for wrapping up with material or grabbing material. Notice also we do not run a scraper because the new wheel is so effective uh, with the smooth design removing the hub that it's no longer necessary to actually run a scraper and the scraper has proven to be more of a uh, hindrance than a benefit in many instances. The hubs on the blades have larger diameter bearings um, inch and a quarter inner Timken tapered roller bearings. The row cleaners and the gauge wheels have uh, one inch tapered roller bearings. The row cleaner wheels are screw adjustable and are mounted tr straddling the rear edge of the coulter blade in the uh, patented Dawn coulter combination arrangement so that the leading blade cuts and divides the residue, separates the two, and then each row cleaner wheel, once the flow of residue at the unit has been divided, can much more effectively redirect it and flow around the outside of the unit. And notice, we'll, everything about this unit is all about being streamlined and, and almost, uh, you know, is treating the residue as a fluid flow moving around the outside of it. So everything on the back half of the unit is going to be operating in the wake of the row cleaners. So when you look at the unit from the front view, you'll notice that you will not see any of the structure of the rear of the unit behind it. Typical operating speeds might be anywhere from 6 to 10 miles an hour and you'll see things at either end. Uh, some people might run as high as 11 conditions permitting, um, some people might run at the slower end. But I would say in terms of operating speed, most people will run in the seven and a half to eight and a half mile an hour range, would be a very typical operating speed. Another feature people will notice that they might have, you know, that have pluribus strip tool units that might not understand exactly what they're for, is these two holes in the coulter support nose. The purpose of these two holes is to allow for a front mounted arm which supports the trash wheels so that you can get to even more different configurations of row cleaners um, based around your, your conditions. 90% of the time, the row cleaner configuration, the stock configuration as it's shown, works great, especially with the new 15-inch wheel. Some people in some conditions want to produce even more clearance uh, because of the way they're lining up with the rows, because of the speed they're operating with, because of the crops they're operating in, for whatever reason, they might want to produce a little bit more clearance between uh, the flow of residue coming off one row to another. And these two holes right here allow you to mount a pivot and allow you to mount a front mount and arm out front, which will move one or both. So you could either move both 
row cleaner wheels out to the front of the row, or you could just move one so that you have a staggered uh, mounting between the two row cleaner wheels. So that's just a, another extra feature which can be used, but it's typically not. Moving back, we've got the two gauge wheels. Um, all Dawn units since 2007 have two gauge wheels, um, which are also mounted in a staggered fashion, which have the extremely unique swirl device mounted in them, which, if you notice, is like a helical shaped rolling basket, but it doesn't operate like a rolling basket because it's not actually running on the ground. The gauge wheel is defining the ground line here, but you'll notice the swirl device is actually several inches above it. And the reason for that is because the swirl device is not acting on the soil surface itself. The swirl device is actually acting on the soil which is flowing through the center of the unit, the, the sort of fluidized flow which is going through the center of the unit, chopping at it, breaking up the clods, but it's also acting like a, like a fan blade or a turbine blade, pushing the soil towards the center of the row, creating a berm. So the, the coulter blades cut and lift and excite the soil and are directing a flow of soil out of the back of the unit and the swirl devices are interacting with those, that flow of soil, breaking it up and making it uh, even finer particle size. And so we're using the gauge wheels here almost like a gathering device so it, the gauge wheels trap the flow of soil between them and limit the ability of the soil to escape outside of the strip because that's what we're looking for in the strip till is no net soil movement. We want to, the soil which was originally in the strip, we want to keep it in the strip. Which is also the purpose of the mud guard, which is a, a, a steel sheet metal formed piece which is positioned to catch any soil which is being thrown off of the larger diameter blade. And you know, people frequently will ask, okay, well why isn't there a mud guard on both um, sides? And the reason for that is that it hasn't proven to be necessary. The, the middle blade is a larger blade, it's running slightly deeper, and in some soil types, in some extremely wet conditions, you'll get a, a, a tail of soil which will want to be thrown up, and that just deflects and comes back in. You can see another view of the uh, air spring right here. The hoses, which move up through the front, uh, are guided up to the toolbar in these grommets. There's also an organizer for some different fertilizer kits.